This is going to be a match of psyching because Ernie Schlegel, the tournament leader on the right, is just full of that type of uh, action. And Bo Burton is not a slouch either. They each are making their third appearance today, this year on our telecast. Ernie has finished second in the Miller High Life Classic, fifth in the Midas Open. Bo has one win. So here we go for the King Louis Open. Schlegel decided to shoot first. That's right, Chris. He wanted to change Bo Burton's pattern, so he made Bo start second. And he wanted to start the match. Right off, they're at each other. And that must be Ernie's new shot. Opening with a strike here. So, uh, that little strategy paid off right, right now. Right at the start it did, Chris. And, uh, of course, uh, Ernie, uh, Ernie's been around a little bit. He knows all the pressures of the bowling. He's had many, many match games in the New York area, so... He's uh, no newcomer to match play. Bo looking for his fourth win today. He's on the right lane. And that's the way to answer an opening strike. So it's all even after one frame in this classic style of Nelson Burton Jr. and Mick, his dad, a Hall of Famer, proud. And classic it is, uh, Chris. It's just a picture of perfection there good follow through which every bowler wants to work work on and and get all right now he's on the left lane where he started in the first three matches <laughs> crossing over and uh, leaving a five one little flaw in his game there. He just wanted to loft the ball too far and it pulled, made him pull the ball to the left as we see the ball going to the left of the head pin, the Brooklyn side, and leaving the five pin. Look at that reaction. Hmm. He's happy with the outcome. Yeah. That's so a strike and spare for Nelson Burton. Ernie Schlegel is up. 37-year-old who calls the USA his home. He's won over a quarter of a million dollars this year, 19,510. You see he's 5'11 in height, 155. And can you believe it? He is looking for his first title. It's very hard for our pro members to believe that he's looking for a title for the first time because he is an excellent bowler. He was top seeded at the Miller High Life Championship for the Classic this year lost to Gary Dickinson in the final. He's won more money than any other non-winner in the history of the PBA. Takes a lot of time. Oh, he had that one right on the edge of the alley. One of uh, Ernie Schlegel's uh, faults is taking too much time and causing him to drop the ball or else pull the ball because he gets so intense as we watch his style going to the foul line. Good speed with the footwork, but you'll notice right at the release of the ball, he drops that ball. Doesn't get the good finger lift in it. And getting the war shot, the one, two, four, ten. Difficult spare. And didn't get the 10, so that is an open frame in the second for Ernie Schlegel against Bo Burton for the championship. And Chris, you know, talking about his tense and everything, I ask him, do you have an advisor with you on the tour all the time, Ernie? And this is what Ernie had to say. Well, I have my uh, mental game advisor, Mr. John Mazio. He's not with me this week, but he's been working with me for the last three weeks to help me uh, get rid of my temper. My temper's been real bad this, uh, this year. I've... Uh, exploded more than I've wanted to because last year I got hurt and this year I'm uh, working real hard to keep my mental game strong. Whatever John Mazio told him, well, this time it worked for Ernie on the left lane. Coming up with a strike after the open and Nelson Burton Jr. now up and carefully uh, setting his hands into that 16-pound bowling ball. Bow open with a strike, marked with a spare in the second, shooting in the third. He beat Hanley 195 to 153, Berlin 257, 213, and Tap 207, 204. Oh, oh, oh. we got a break, though. The last minute, and the I 
high school. Oh. <laughs> Nosey got a good break. He moved a little bit deeper just to get away from the nose hit. And as you see the ball, it's going to slide. It's going to slide. It's going to slide off 62 feet down the lane. And luckily, he tripped the eight pin out. <laughs> Cross lane now for the 10. All right, a strike at two spares. Nelson Burton Jr. And there's Ernie Schlegel doing a little work on uh, his bowling ball. And people wonder why, Chris, that he's doing that. Sometimes when you get so tense, you lose weight in your fingers and your thumb. The blood rushes out of your fingers and thumb and makes, makes it smaller. So that's the reason you put the extra piece of tape in the thumb hole or the finger hole. I'm glad he put that lethal weapon away. <laughs> Fourth frame for Burton, leading by 11. Live from Overland Park. Strike in the fourth for Bo Burton going against Ernie Schlegel. will return to Kansas after this. Just a beautiful stroke, Chris. He, the frame before, he just about left the 8-10 split, split because he speeded the ball up a little bit too much. That time he just stroked the ball, had a crisp release, nice lift on the ball, good roll, getting the strike. Mm -hmm. Bo now taking his time, going over to the left lane. Double up. Shooting in the sixth frame. 11,000 to the winner, six to the runner-up. No, no, no. That one slid by, leaving the two, five, and eight. And Chris, as we watch Burton's ball roll down the lane, it's just a little bit too hard, sliding by the head pin, leaving the two, five, eight. Leaving the five, and that is rough coming in the sixth frame, Dick Weber. Yes, it is, Chris, and Ernie knows that he's going to try to take advantage of it. We see Bo Burton chopping right straight through and leaving the five pin. And look at the dismay reaction here. He's just really disappointed himself that he didn't cover that spare properly. Had a 12-pin lead at one time. But now he trails by 14. As Schlegel has a turkey shooting in the sixth frame. And you know, we might mention too, Chris, if Ernie Schlegel does win, this entitles him to go to the Firestone Tournament Champions next week and knocks Freddie Connor, who's on the bubble, mm -hmm. off. Of course, Nelson already qualified. He has 15 championships to his credit. This man, 12 years a PBA member, legs trembling now, moving the line, has yet to win. <laughs> and in there for four in a row. Ernie Schlegel. You know what's amazing here? Uh, he has sort of a cast about his eyes, and I asked him if he wore uh, contacts. And he said, no, no, I don't. He said, no, I can't wear glasses. Well, I bowled. He said, my eyesight is very, very poor, and it is. It is very poor because uh, he was standing out there. He couldn't see somebody in a, about uh, 20 feet away from him. And here's a score with Ernie Schlegel on a four-bagger. He wants to add to that because he knows Burton can unleash his bowling ball anytime he wants. 15th stop, 19th year. This year, a tour of 16 cities ending in Akron. A week from today, Firestone Tournament of Champions. And this man, if he can win this match, will be in it. And these are his critical frames coming up to 7th, 8th, and ninth in the past history. He's sort of what we call choked up in the 7th, 8th, and ninth frame. He's having trouble pulling the trigger. The longest I've seen him wait. Now to the line. Oh, and he's... A... Look at his... <laughs> wow. Catherine DePage Schlegel. She was out of her seat, and Ernie was over at the other pair. Now, Nelson Burton, Jr., he has 114 through the sixth. He is shooting in the seventh, trailing by 34. He has to string him. And Nelson can play that game, too. He'll take his time also. <laughs> 